At the start of your tech career, there's a very important decision you need to make. Should you specialize or generalize to be successful? For example, if you're interested in a career in the cloud, you might be asking yourself if it's better to specialize in a career like cloud security, or do you go for a general job title like cloud engineer or DevOps engineer. Now, from my standpoint, this is an easy decision. I believe that tech beginners should always generalize at the start of their career. And today, I'm going to give you three reasons why. But don't worry, I'm also going to sprinkle in some nuance as to when specializing might be more appropriate than generalizing. Now, I understand that this is a very controversial take. So make sure you watch the video till the end and then leave a comment below with your thoughts. The first reason why you should always generalize rather than specialize as a tech beginner is because you have no idea what the day-to-day -day responsibilities of a specialist are. So you might go into it with unrealistic expectations. For example, I know a lot of tech beginners who think they want to work in cybersecurity. They have an image of themselves fighting bad guys and defending against sophisticated hackers. Hollywood loves painting glamorous scenes of cybersecurity professionals battling against hackers who want to breach the firewalls and bring down the government. But is this an accurate picture of the cybersecurity industry? The reality is that a lot of the day-to-day -day responsibilities of a cybersecurity professional can be routine and repetitive. Your main responsibilities include making sure your company's processes are in line with the compliance or regulatory standards, keeping the business IT systems and softwares patched, educating employees about cybersecurity threats. For example, telling Steve in accounting to stop writing his passwords down on a sticky note and then leaving it next to his computer. How many times have I told you, Steve? Now, don't get me wrong. It's honest work and somebody's got to do it. Some people find it interesting. Other people find it boring. But you need to know what you're getting into or else you risk spending years of your life and thousands of dollars trying to break into a specialist industry only to realize once you finally get that job that you hate it because it's just not what you thought it would be. I want to counteract this with an example of a generalized role. Imagine you decide to pursue a career as a cloud engineer or DevOps engineer. You'll need to get exposed to a variety of disciplines. For example, you'll learn how to build infrastructure, configure networking, manage security, and much more. You'll get to sample a lot of different disciplines and in the future, if you do decide to specialize in one of them, you'll already have experience of what it looks like day to day and you'll have a good idea if it's right for you. This will help you make more informed decisions. For example, let's assume you want to specialize in cloud security, but you decide to take my advice and get a job as a cloud engineer first. While you're in this generalized role, you get some experience working with cloud security, cloud networking, storage and databases. You might then decide that actually you prefer networking over security and you want to specialize in networking instead. Basically, going general at the start of your career allows you to experience different options. So then if you do decide to specialize in the future, you can go into it with your eyes wide open and have more realistic expectations of the role. Before I tell you the next reason why you should generalize as a tech beginner, I need to ask you a question. Are you looking to get your first cloud job and you're tired of getting ghosted by recruiters? If you answered yes, then I have a free guide that will walk you through the three simple steps you need to go to from being a complete cloud beginner to getting your first cloud job. We created this guide at Cloud Career Mentor because we noticed that there was a lack of good information out there and we wanted to create something that would give you the blueprint to break into the cloud industry. It's free to download and has helped dozens of people land that dream job. Make sure you download it now. The links are in the description below. The second reason why I recommend tech beginners to generalize rather than specialize is because there are simply a lot more generalist jobs out there than there are specialist jobs. The truth is that most companies don't need specialists. Instead, they need individuals who can wear multiple hats and perform various tasks. By trying to specialize at the start of your career, you may significantly reduce your job options. What makes this worse is that for those companies that are hiring specialists, they usually prefer people with years of experience because the reason the company is hiring a specialist in the first place is because they're encountering problems that the generalists in the company can't solve. This means that the companies will most likely not choose beginners who lack sufficient industry experience to tackle these tricky issues. As a beginner, it's difficult to compete with the more experienced specialists for these roles. That's why I recommend you start out as a generalist 
where you can begin building up your skills and experience. These experiences will make you more valuable if and when you decide to specialize. Is what I'm saying making sense so far? If so, just please gently tap that like button so I know you're paying attention. The final reason why you should generalize rather than specialize at the beginning of your tech career is because all technology is interconnected. Here's what I mean. Let's assume you want to specialize in cloud security. What a lot of tech beginners don't realize is that you need to understand how the components of a cloud ecosystem works to be able to secure it effectively. For example, to properly secure networking components, you should understand how networking works. Or to secure virtual machines, you should understand how virtual machines work and how bad actors could potentially try to attack them. Same with databases and other critical technology infrastructure. This is why it's important to generalize at the start of your career, because when you generalize, you build up an understanding of how the different components work together, which will make you more effective when you do decide to specialize. If you're at the start of your tech career, I definitely recommend you try to go for more general tech or cloud roles rather than trying to specialize too early. Once you get your foot in the door and begin getting real work experience, you'll gain a better understanding of all the various paths you can specialize in. And you can choose to do that, or you can decide that you actually enjoy the variety that comes with having a generalized skill set. Just remember this, the point of this video isn't to tell you what to do. There's no right or wrong way to approach your career, and there are lots of beginners that have had success as specialists, and lots of beginners that have had success as generalists. The point of this video is to help you think about your career decisions in a way that you might not have thought about them before. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Have I convinced you that generalization is the way to go at the start of your tech career? Or do you think specialization is better? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you've listened to this and you feel like a job as a cloud engineer or DevOps engineer might be interesting, check out this video I made that walks you through how to get your first cloud job even if you've had zero experience, and the five technologies you need to learn to make this dream a reality. See you in the next one.